good okay. ball with yeah. that effort. Do you that fancy is your very chances impressive. doing that, Tony? That's, well, you know, I, that give me a run for my money. I'd like that. to see you try. Yeah. I know, I, I, I definitely might, couldn't. I might have a go. <laughs> no Golf and hoverboarding can't do either. Right, done well. Well, lovely well done, Lena Joshua. Jenkins is here with our weather forecast. Our ray of sunshine after a day of sunshine. It's been what we've been looking forward to all week, it hasn't it? And the weather's been chopping and changing yes. all week. Hasn't and it's it going to continue, actually, over the next few days. Yesterday, of course, we were talking about the floods and parts of the New Forest are still underwater. This was taken at Ober Water, just outside Brockenhurst, by Emily Ending. A frosty start for many this morning, including these deer on Ashley Heath in Dorset. Nick Lucas behind the camera there. Sunshine and snowdrops on the banks of the River Way at Elstead Mill in Surrey earlier today. Thanks to Raymond Slack for sending that one in. Yes, the weather is really like a yo-yo at the moment, up and down, which it continues to do over the next few days. And of course, this morning we started off beautiful, bright sunshine, a frost in places as well. In fact, this was taken by one of our weather watchers, Milton Weather, in milton on Stow. It was minus two when he took that this morning. Compared, though, to tonight, it's going to be very mild, with temperatures not much lower than seven Celsius. Now, you may well have heard that our next storm is heading towards the UK. It's been named by the office as Gertrude. The most severe weather will be tracking its way north and westwards from us, up towards Scotland, Northern Ireland, northwestern parts of England. But we will still see some windy weather tomorrow and those winds will be strengthening as we go through the night cloud increasing from the west there'll be some showers passing from west to east but they'll be fairly well scattered so some will stay mainly dry unlike last night it's very mild and temperatures won't get much lower than six or seven celsius but those winds increasing all the time along the coast tomorrow likely to see gusts of 40 50 miles an hour there'll be further showers again pushing their way eastwards later in the day some spells of sunshine coming through parts of oxfordshire and wiltshire but further south and he's probably hanging on to a lot of cloud. Temperatures getting up to around 11 Celsius may not feel that mild given the strength of the wind. And that wind just strengthens further tomorrow night. You'll notice that the rain becomes more persistent, heavy in places as well, and some very gusty winds as that rain clears eastwards during the early hours of Saturday morning. Once again, it won't be a cold night and temperatures won't get much lower than six or seven Celsius. But this weather front then pushes its way south and eastwards. Behind it, the isobars open up and we see some spells of sunshine coming across for Saturday. So after a wet and potentially very windy start during the early hours of Saturday morning, it is an improving picture. The sunshine comes out. It should be a fine day on Saturday, one or two showers. And although less windy, it will be feeling somewhat colder. So some colder conditions on Saturday. Once we go into Sunday, though, the milder air returns and we see rain again. Back to you. Well, Gertrude looks like a force to be reckoned with, doesn't oh, she? Yeah. <laughs> Goodness me. I want him to call it Gail, actually. <laughs> Gail. <laughs> Love it next time. Well, that's all from us. We're back, of course, with all the latest for you at 8 o'clock and again at 10.30. But from us here, have a wonderful evening and wrap up warm. Good night. Bye-bye.